like the first six months because that was like 1999 when we were kids on the playground, you know. Yeah, yeah. It. It was during the didn't Pokemon exist then. It was during. It was also, it was like it was during the Pokemon craze. Mm. So like I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna play Pikachu because I like Pokemon. And so I, maybe maybe I'll play Pikachu my first game just for like pay homage to 1999. What a time to be alive! But we're gonna jump into this next set. Jackal fighting off against the light. Sorry, Africa Jackal. <laughs> yeah, gotta make sure you put some respect yeah. on that name. Yeah, Jackal's definitely from Africa. And on top of this as well, uh, Light no longer is a member of MVG. He is a free agent as we move on into Smash Ultimate. Being so, ranked number 13 on the PGR and a free agent. Hot dog. Yeah. Put a pog champ on that one. Make sure you try to scout this guy for some of your rosters because you know he's going to bring the heat. All right, so like, like you said, like Light definitely knows this matchup. He plays against Jackal a lot. Oh my God, we taunting mid match. I mean, he could have shot a laser or something. Oh. Looking for an air dodge, but instead Jackal double jumps. And I feel like I've seen that a lot in his gameplay in a lot of positions where most people would air dodge. You see Jackal use that double jump to avoid just losing his stock. Really. Yep. Okay, he gets back down to the ground, just runs up, gets that young grab against his opponent, up tilt. Not able to get that two frame just yet, but he's just throwing active hitboxes. You see him going for that forward smash, able to fly right behind Sonic. Facing up Jack a little bit. Gets a tomahawk grab to force him off stage, and now holding center so well, forcing Jack into the corner. There we go, tries to get the trap back here, a little slow on the execution. Yeah. The thing is, this is where Light, I've talked about this in the previous set with Light, this is where he thrives. He loves putting his opponent into the corner. Oh just, my goodness. So like the past 30 seconds was just a press on the edge of the stage. It just did not let him find any type of form of footing. That's where Sonic thrives. Oh my Sonic god. So oh, we got locks. We got locks. Got locks again up till some more damage. Traps. Able to spring jump out of there. He's giving me flashbacks to, to Zero's frame trapping, but he had a banana peel to do that. Like, yeah. He's just chilling. Taking his time. Slows down the pace, but perfectly yeah. timed. Forward the smash and second he slowed down the pace, mind you, immediately forward smash. Coming out from your boy at Light. Now again, Light, you know, the best player in New England based on the PGR, right above Mars. My man got third at Overclock last time, though, Overclock 3. Mm -hmm. He got fourth at Shine as well, which is a really good performance for him with all the competitors there. So, you know, he's he's got he's got some uh, good victories underneath his belt. Yeah, we'll never forget, because Light, uh, any game that he likes to play, if he puts the time in, he always gets good at it. Even in Dragon Ball Fighters, this yeah. man is a menace. And even back before, Light was a name that everyone recognized. He won our first Arcadian, and from then on, oh my god. But you know what? Deleted. It doesn't matter because we got that back here off stage, sending him flying. It's going to be uh, Jackal going to game number one, Sonic Extraordinaire. Which is kind of surprising because Light was playing so dominant the first stock. He just like lost momentum in the middle of that one. Yeah, with the way you would have thought that that match was going. Seeing 1-0 on the scoreboard for Jackal, you're just kind of like, huh? Is that really what happened? Oh, yep. crap. I tune out. Jackal on the rise, getting ready for his ultimate debut. Here we go, game number two. Let's see, once again, Light starting off the match fairly strong. Can't get the up smash done. I've seen that happen two or three times today where he goes for that back air up smash, and it's been a whiffing. And I'm actually curious if that's a character thing that he's not able to connect on Sonic or if he's just not timing it right. Okay, look at that down air. Ooh. Just spikes up completely, brought him back up with the spring jump. Won't take him for a spring ride, maybe unintentionally. Okay, a lot of air dodges coming out from light. Seems to be a little scared with his landing. And Jackal should be fiending to take advantage of that scenario. And already, jab, 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 pushing to the corner. Light fights his way back to center, throwing out the up tilt. Trying to hold the corner, but can he guess correctly? This entire time we're seeing a lot of spin dashes coming out from Jackal, able to just try to like mix up his opponent where he's gonna go, but Light's been on point with punishing them. He hasn't really been hit by them too much, too often in this game. Trying to mix up what he's gonna land down to the ground, using Shine to stall in the air. Very good option for Fox players. Double jumps to escape the back air situation. Back air's gonna lift. All right, screen jump trying to get out of that. Falling there, catches Light twice in a row. Looking to find that landing with the up smash. Does not guess correctly once he, again. He thought he was going to go for a fast fall. He's going to go for a double jump instead. Again, shine to stall off stage a bit. Seeing a 137% looking very scary. Trying to get that drill into an up smash, but we just got the board tilt out of shield. Start with Jackal. Great tech. Text again. Light on point with these techs. Makes it back to center stage. 
Doesn't want to commit to that downer. He knows that light would have been down there winning with an up smash. Not getting it too much off of a grab. Yeah, percentage wise, oh, perfect. They held onto the platform ledge a little too long. I, I feel like that dash attack hit just like so late, right? Like it wasn't the initial blow, but just right when the invisibility ran out. Oh, you're still holding the ledge. Give me that up here. Pops him into the perfect spot, man. Just like, I like it. Okay, we got 175% on light. It's gonna be very wary. At this point, Jackal gets a grab that, that as I said, up throw, gonna send him flying into the blast zone again. So what do you think that Jackal's doing to keep up with Light here, right? We're usually used to his aggression over and over and over, yet somehow you look at the actual, like, stock counts and it's always barely even, right? He's on the move constantly, dragging up a ton of damage right there. He's able to close it out because he used one of Sonic's strengths, grabbing. Sonic gets a lot off of grabs. He's really good at being able to land the grab pretty safely, especially if he goes for, like, a pivot grab in grips. Light still trying to chase him down, manages to get a connecting hit, doesn't get the two frames with the up tilt though. And we've actually seen Light eat an exceptional amount of damage from Spin Dash this game. Okay. He's holding the shield, gets the grab afterwards, trying to search for that up air. He's on the prowl, up tilt. Mm -hmm. That into a kill. That's up it. air, catches the landing, sends him flying. He's popping off a little bit. It's because he's listening to his jams though. You see him bobbing his head. Yeah, he's definitely going, sweet home, man, a bit. I swear to God, that's actually what he's listening to. <laughs> I would not be Honestly, shocked. Light is like a certain kind of stupid where it probably lip -sync, is. Lip -sync, here it comes. Sweet oh, home, Alabama. There it was, yeah. <laughs> yep. Let's go, Light. 1,000% what he's listening to. Lip synced perfectly. <laughs> we might as well just dub over his voice. Yeah. We all know Light loves country music. Does he really? No, no not at all. Oh, that, okay. Definitely not. It's probably like the Dragon Ball Super theme, if I'm being honest. Kai, <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. Town City. <clears throat> Two stocks apiece. Jackal fighting off against Light once more. Right around the side. Dash attack. Now, this is the best three of five set here in the winner's semis. Okay, again, going for a little unsafe neutral air there. Jackal able to get a free grab off and just continuously racking up some damage. They're both just kind of like slugging on each other. Yeah. Again, tries to get that up air, up air, up air. Looking at that shield dwindle and dwindle, but goodbye to your stock. We're taking you for a ride. Sonic loves middle platforms. How often can I say it, man? And saying he gets one up air, he can carry that into a death. The first 30 seconds, Jackal able to close out the stock. But Light's trying to do it himself, you know. Uh, once again, Fox gets a lot off of up tilt. He needs to land to an up air, back air. Ooh, okay. Nice to air dodge that perfectly. But Light already starting at... Actually, he, he's not that far behind. You would think that... Jack, uh, Jack will be able to get that shield grab afterwards. Ooh, okay. Yeah, now we good. 25%, that's whatever. That's like, uh... What, uh... Back air, up time. Yeah, we got the patent and Tom coming afterwards. Coming from light. So trying to mix him up, going for the double jump off stage to catch him off guard with that shark and up air. Yo, Jackal is moving though. Man, all the way. I mean, you've been stressing it over and over and over every single time we've had Jackal come up to bat, right? Like the way this man maneuvers with Sonic really has his opponents guessing. And light just has the, uh, the steadfastness, I guess. Just. Take the hits when he gets it and keep charging forward until he guesses correctly and really capitalize on the moments where he gets that opening. Sets him up with that side beam. Again. Tries to go for that second up air, but he's got that fastball coming out from light immediately. We got a tense situation. Obstacle for like, he got away with it. Yeah, we're just not in range to get that shield grab. Maybe had to dash forward first to do it. But Light realizing very quickly, I don't know when this platform's gonna leave, but I don't want to be in that scenario when it happens. We had a phenomenal tech coming from Light, able to just help him oh, survive a little him. longer. Drags him. Oh. No, I mean, Upstash would not have killed at that point. He wanted to go for damage. Oh, yeah, instead. you're right. Uh -oh. And instead, fell a little bit too low. You saw him going for that air dodge to avoid the, the spring. But Town City has like a slightly smaller blast on the bottom as well. So, he might have just gotten caught. And then talking it out, you know, as friends do. Yeah, man. Yeah, I was trying to friends? go for that. No, they're talking about counterfeits, man. They're, they're not friends. They're mortal enemies. They're, they're going to fight it out to the death here? Yes. Fatalities and everything? One, okay, well, maybe not that hard. <laughs> maybe not that hard. We're, we're, we're still ready to eat for 10 up. We are going to Battlefield Triplats. Bring them home. Game number four. Jackal up two to one. 
go. Doing those spin dash and the shield cancels to keep the opponent guessing. But Lightning ain't even phased by it. Already starts off with 69%. Racking that up to 79 now. He is racking on more and more. It's a good look for Light, but Jackal? Gotta stop him, man. Put the brakes on his, on his ship. Able to just get the gimp, my god. I was actually just kind of expecting him to get back to the stage. Yeah. A little bit too far away for Spin Gimp to actually carry him back to the stage. Jab, jab, jab. It's caught once again. All this pressure on his shield, still holding it. Can't get off. And shield dropping is a thing in Smash Ultimate, but you really don't see it. Even toward the end of the game, Spice Man, only Cosmos was really the one that fully exhibited in his gameplay. No one really was able to get it consistent. Um, so when someone gets stuck on a platform like this, they're usually just waiting for that opening to get off. Getting interrupted by that grab. Coming back in, side B into like up air. I like the chase right there. You see, like, going for that dash tag, mate. Trying to catch Jackal's landing a bit. Dash tag to try to do something against Fox Illusion. Oh. Very weird interaction there. You know, out there was coming from Jackal. Try to catch Light a little off guard. Again, once he up tilt on the two frames. Yeah. He knew exactly where he wanted to go. He was, like, completely aiming for that la left uh, ledge. That backer's coming out. Catches him very prominently. As we move into game five, now Jackal has the counter pick advantage. You see a smash fill getting knocked away completely. Don't want that bracket. We could probably be going back to town, honestly. Final destination instead, you know, no platforms allowed. I mean, this is a pretty good stage for Sonic as well as for Fox. Gives Sonic plenty of room to run around. No platforms for Fox to play off of. Yeah, and it's one of those things, right? Both of these characters do excel at the juggle game. To make it harder to get, not get them places to land. Well, all right, we're going to have a lot of buffers happening in this set, in this game, for the final game of the set here. See who's going to go to winner's finals to face off against Mars. Coming down with that neutral air. Jackal again landing a lot of mm. damage. So many back airs coming out. Light struggling. He saw it down air on stage. Just in case he was able to catch that fire fox. Maybe possibly want to want to go off stage just a slight bit. Yeah, because he's trying to angle it against the final decision. Because Firefox, he wanted to drag against the edge of the stage. Because he knew it was the only option he had, right? Had to burn that side B early because yep. he got pushed so far away, but couldn't quite close out the edge guard, which is great for Light Jackal, not so much. Especially since your game five catches it, still not enough to quite kill though. Yeah, almost got that. I mean, it was very close to the top of the blast zone up tilt. Trying to get that follow up on the back here instead. A potential Trump. Another tech coming out. I mean, he has yet to miss any of those techs from that back here after Firefox. Light just so good at it, but still don't want to deter you from going for the option. You have to check him on it, right? Yeah. You're going to get tech this time. You're going to get tech this time. Despite the fact Great. that he probably has like a 95% success on teching, that one 5% time, it could be now. Yeah, Firefox again. Another beautiful tech coming out from Light. Goes a little bit too deep for that. Use the Firefox to drag against the stage, gets hit by the back air, still living on the edge of the stage. 134% avoids the forward smash. Going for the Firefox down below. Fox Illusion needs to escape from being camped in the zone. Forcing that zone. Use the spring dash, uh, spring jump, really. Oh. oh, completely open. That was a miss input coming from Light. He did not want to be down there being. Go for that re grab, a free forward smash for Jackal. Yeah, well, Light's final stop. Right. Now, Light. Potentially in his final stock in the winner's bracket because he's able to bring it back, but... What an answer. And you know what? Let's tell you no know, Light's serious. There was no taunt after that. He always taunts. Instead, he just wanted to adjust himself a bit. One stock apiece. You can see the shift in the gameplay, man. Light, you know him for running into your face, but towards the end of this, everybody's slowing it down. Even Light's holding the shield button a little bit more. Trying to make sure that every hit he throws out counts and that he's holding that defense. But Jackal is piercing the armor time and time again. Runs up, trying to go to that confirm. Trying to catch the Fox Illusion with a forward air from Sonic. Not enough to get make, make sure to jump him out of there. He actually oh. mixed him up. He got the air dodge with a down air afterwards. Sits him at 71%. Back down onto the stage. A little bit too low percent for them to actually kill. Jackal is looking for it. That's a grab. There's another chance here. Gets the forward air, getting that guaranteed damage. And at this point, Jackal wants the grabs. He gets a lot of damage off of him, puts his light into a position where it might put some instill some fear into his opponent, make him force like an air dodge situation when he tries to go for the kill off the top of the platform or the stage. But now light, 
Turning the tables on him. 82 to 83. We got the trades Trade. coming out. Dash attack. Air dodge. Reads the air dodge. Did it. Not enough to get the kill just yet. 107%. He's going to be able to go for that spring jump onto the ledge. Oh, it's back no on punish. stage. They are trading jabs wow. like crazy. Doesn't do a move on the way down. There it is. Jab, 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 up smash. Light is out of there. He walks away from the stage. He is feeling himself. He's going to move on to winner's finals. Hug it out, brother. Hug it out, man. At the end of the day, they are friends. My boy, Light. Look at this. That was that would have been a potential huge upset for Jackal too. Look at that. Bah, 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 boom. Just jab, jab, up smash, and you see Jackal just push away. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come here. There he is. Here, here he is. Here he is. He, is. he just fell down. No, you're fine. You're on winners finals. Why are you? What's happening? What? This is my tournament. Oh my god. <laughs>